friend, it's Stephanie Krevins, founder of the Pro Troublemaker Nation, and in this video, I'm kicking off this series to say, what are the 10 steps that you must take to be a pro troublemaker? And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about step one. Friends, this is the foundation for all other steps, so I need you to spend more time on this one than all the others. This is the one that answers the question, who am I and what is my work to do here on the planet? What kind of pro troublemaker do I want to be? And here are three ways that you can answer that question. These are not easy, but they're simple and they're straightforward when you spend the time reflecting and taking action to really answer these questions. So the first step is get to know yourself. Know who you are, know what your work is, and do that by considering taking some assessments that will add kind of an, an objective lens to really help you understand what makes you tick, Why, what's your secret sauce, why do you do the things that you do kind of as a knee-jerk reaction, do you want to change that, yes or no, some of these you might want to keep. And my favorite is the DISC assessment. It's a scientifically validated behavioral assessment. The first time I read mine, I was like, oh, this is why people think I'm an asshole. So DISC stands for your level of dominance, influence, steadiness, and conscientiousness. I am super high with my level of dominance and my super high with my level of influence. I have zero S, I have zero patience. I was made with none, right? I know this about myself. This assessment helped me figure that out about myself and why certain people might interpret my behaviors in a certain way that didn't uh, help me build a great reputation, so I worked to change that. Another assessment you might, um, you might consider is the Enneagram. That's a really popular one right now. It's deep, it's spiritual, has a long history to it. Other ones you might work use in your workplace, Predictive Index, Hogan Leadership Assessment. As long as it's scientifically valid, it's gonna give you a really great result to add another level of information to help you get to know yourself. Second step, to getting to know yourself and what your work is to do is sit down and define what are your values? What's really important to you? What's your mission here in this world? What's your vision for your life that you want to create for yourself, for your organization, for your family, for the globe in our relatively short amount of time while we're here on this planet? Now, Stephanie, you're probably saying, oh, you're asking me to find my purpose. I don't know my purpose. Here's the deal. You don't find your purpose, your purpose finds you when you take action, which leads to the third step. Know what is your hell yes work to do and what is your hell no work to do. Now, everyone has in their job stuff that they don't like to do. That needs to be 20% or less of your time of, of, uh, at work. So if you're spending more than 20% of your time on stuff you don't like to do, you need to recalibrate how you're spending your time, what assignments you're saying yes to, what assignments you're saying no to. Because the reality is, is if you say yes to work that is not yours to do, you are taking away from other hell yes moments that people could be having. You're taking away from their joy, you're taking away from their challenge and their growth because you're saying yes out of obligation. So as a pro troublemaker, we know what is our work to do, we know what is our hell yeses, we know what is our hell no's, and we know what is the 20% of stuff that just has to get done. All right, my friend, step one of being a pro troublemaker, know what is your work to do while you're here on this planet with your values, your vision, your mission are, now let's get off the internet and get the real work done and I'll see you soon.